So take a look at what you're about to see. Slowbro uses Trick Room, a move that reverses the turn order. It makes slower Pokemon move first. Slowbro is therefore going to move first versus Regieleki, the fastest Pokemon in the game. But it doesn't. Regieleki moves first anyway despite Trick Room. I call it the speed barrier and Regieleki just crossed it. If any Pokemon reaches exactly 1809 or above in their speed stat, they gain the power to outspeed Trick Room itself. It's called the Trick Room glitch and it's existed in every Pokemon game since Pokemon Black and White. It has never been fixed. What is it? How do you trigger it? And why does it happen? Trick Room is a move introduced in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl that reverses the turn order of the Pokemon in the battle. Slower Pokemon now move before faster Pokemon. It's a game changer and is one of the most popular strategies in double battles. To trigger the glitch, you have to perform the gargantuan task of getting a Pokemon above 1808 speed. For reference, Regieleki's maximum speed at level 100 is 548. You have to do several times that to cross the speed barrier, but you are allowed to use modifiers like Choice Scarf or a stat boosting move or ability. There are several Pokemon that can reach that speed tier. Let's use an example. We have a Regieleki in front of a Slowbro. Regieleki is going to use the move Agility, which increases its speed stat by two stages. After using three agilities, its speed stat is at six stages, which is equivalent to a times four multiplier. At 548 times four, it now has 2192 speed, enough to cross the speed barrier. And there goes Regieleki. There are other examples too. Floatzel could use agility a couple of times too, and also double its speed with its Swiss Swim ability. In any case, it's obviously incredibly unlikely. This is definitely not a practical glitch, it's more of a fun glitch to talk about. There's only one recorded instance of it ever happening in a real battle. A player was playing a level 100 game back in generation 8, and happened to have Excadrill in Sandstream to double its speed, Tailwind to double its speed again, and used Rapid Spin to increase its speed by one stage. All that combined gave it a speed of 1812, barely good enough to cross the speed barrier. But once you do that, once you get that 1809 speed Pokemon, and your opponent uses Trick Room, you will be faster than any Pokemon under Trick Room no matter how slow they are. You distort time and space to become the fastest being on the planet. The glitch happens because of something resembling overflow, but it's a little more complicated in this situation. You have to understand how speed is calculated in Pokemon. The maximum speed of a Pokemon is 8,191. If you go any higher than 8,191, it loops around to zero again. For example, Pokemon damage is stored in 32 bits. If you somehow manage to do 2 to the power 32 damage to a Pokemon, it can loop over and do 0 damage instead. It's the same idea here. It's not really a big deal because no Pokemon is ever going to reach an 8000 speed stat, just like how no Pokemon is going to do 4 million points of damage. I mean, just think about how hard it is to reach 1800 speed, let alone 8000. But it does create complications when you factor in Trick Room. This is where the glitch happens. How does Trick Room actually reverse the turn order? The implementation doesn't actually literally reverse the turn order. It instead replaces every Pokemon's speed with 10,000 minus their original speed. If your speed stat is 100, in Trick Room it becomes 10,000 minus 100, which is 9,900. But if you'll notice something important, that speed stat is too large. It's greater than the 8,191 cap. You end up restarting from zero, and for each number you go above the cap, you add one. Basically, if a Pokemon's speed is 8192 or greater, you subtract 8192. What happens is it loops around and that new speed stat becomes 1708. Similarly, if a Pokemon speed is 400, that becomes 9600 and that also loops to 1408. You can see how this actually ends up working. The faster Pokemon becomes slower, and the slower Pokemon becomes faster. It's a little weird, but it does end up working correctly. Almost. But what happens if your speed stat is above 1808, say it's 2000? Your new speed stat becomes 10,000 minus 2000, which is 8000. But look here, you actually didn't cross the maximum speed value. So unlike every other example here, you don't loop around. Your 2000 speed stat ends up becoming a speed stat of 8000 during Trick Room, and it stays like that. You are now the fastest Pokemon in the game. The way they decided to implement Trick Room is the root cause of this 14 year old glitch. Thanks to Glitch City for archiving this glitch, and see you guys next time.